So here I have a 10 inch leaf template and a six inch leaf template. And they're just squares, six inch square and a 10 inch square. So this is a result of the six inch template. I, uh, I'm gonna show you how to cut and color the leaves. And this is a result of the 10 inch template. And you can pretty much make any shape you want from these two. I like using a combination when I put my stands together. It just gives the eye variation and it also makes it look more natural and realistic. So I have my crepe paper. You can do this in any color that you like. Uh, I'm just gonna do three for this example, but if you're making several, you can um, accordion fold the roll. So but for this uh, vid tutorial, I'm just going to make three or however many I can get from one strip. So I'm not pre-stretching this because I want to show you different ways of creating the flowers. As you can tell, I do not do things exact. And if you're interested in these Jim Holtz scissors, um, you can get them uh, on Amazon in my Amazon shop. So I did not pre-stretch. I really didn't even measure. So I'm gonna cut across. And it does not need to be exact. You should be able to get about three out of this. three and save this strip we're going to use this as a tape to bind the rest of the stems together so now we're going to cut these squares diagonal I guess you would say on the bias if you're cutting material. So we're gonna cut the diagonal. Now we have two halves. So when we glue them together, we're going to glue them with them going the opposite way. So you see the, the lines are gonna be coming down this way and then also going the opposite way. So when they meet, it's like a V. And there's two ways you can do this. You can just glue one on top of the other, and that's it. Or you can glue it and then fold it, and I will show you both ways. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have cut my stem down, but normally I leave it long. And I use 18 gauge wire and I don't uh, do it all the way to the top. I don't do it all the way to the top. I do it about three quarters, a little over half of the way. So I leave some floppiness up at the top because this gives it character and realistic realism. 
So I put a strip of hot glue. You can use cold glue for this as well. And I put my, and I do a little twist to cover the whole wire. And then make sure that it's V-shaped and do a press. That's the leaf. You want your V to go up, not down. If you do on accident, it's okay, but you want your V to go up. Okay, for this next one, I'm gonna show you a different method. Again, you wanna confirm that your Vs are going upwards. And then this time, I'm gonna put a strip all the way down. But I'm going to glue. You can use cold glue. I just use hot glue because it's fast. And press. And now we're going to open it up. You do lose a little bit of real estate with this method, but it is it does have a little bit of a cleaner appearance than the other. And now on the fold, we'll put some glue and close it. And again, I put my stem about three quarters of the way. I do the twist to make sure there's glue all over the stem. And then I follow the crease I made, already made. And don't worry about um, glue showing. This one just appears a little bit cleaner. So those are the two ways. You can do it with hot glue or cold glue. Now we're going to cut this and you can cut it into any shape you want. I'm just gonna do the traditional leaf and cut this off and do the same on this side just kind of rounding out the corners and making a point it's not even but it's a leaf and do the same on this one we can um, give this one a shape actually For this one, I just uh, scoop, scoop, scoop. So three times I, I scoop and I make a point. And I'll flip it over and do the other, thing, other side. And it's okay if it's not perfect. I'll have a template for this, but it, you really don't need a template. Um, it's just a matter of practice and scooping. I'm gonna paint these. Um, depending on what look you're going for, this is the traditional, 
this one's a little more pointed and this is like the holly leaf if you're making giant poinsettias that would be a good one so i'll show you different methods for the traditional Just put like a streak in the middle. Doesn't have to be even, doesn't have to be perfect. And then for this one, we're gonna do it on the outer rim. So, more towards the pit. Be sure to do both sides. So that's a different look. going to do a red uh, a red center so it kind of has a browning effect because red and green make brown you know your color theory so you could do it this way or you can mix both could just leave it like this or you could put some aging on the outer skirts of it so that little scrap piece of paper that we had we're going to use that as our um, floral tape you can use floral tape i don't care for floral tape i prefer to just get my hands messy with glue but that's a personal preference um, more than welcome to use floral tape but i just cut it into strips of about a quarter inch yeah it's about a quarter inch quarter inch and i put some put some glue i use eileen's tacky glue, you could use Elmer's glue, you could use Mod Podge, whatever you want. I gave it a little stretch. That's just at the beginning. I only stretched it at the top. I learned about this from Amity of Flower and Jane. She did this, and that's where I learned it from. Um, the making your own floral tape. So I put it at the tail end of the leaf. That's why I pre-stretch it. And then as I go down, my thumb is spreading the glue and I'm stretching the tape as I go down. So now it's covered and I'm going to add so this will be like the new leaf and this one will be like the one that's just now growing. I mean, this is the new leaf and this is the old leaf. So I'll get a longer piece. I'm actually gonna cut this. Just for this example. So I'm gonna attach this to this longer piece. And then I'm going to put this one down here. And you know, do it however you like. You're making your own branch, pretty much. And I will throw this away. And... Now we have, now we have a branch and I just kind of 